On the same fateful April, too, died a companion friend. Pedro Calungso got a kiss from the Visayas. At such a youthful age, he gave his life in martyrdom. Blessed Pedro, inspire our youth to follow Christ. On Sunday, October 21st, Pedro Calungsod was one of seven saints canonized by Pope Benedict XVI. Three of the new saints have connections to the United States. Saint Pedro was martyred for the faith at the age of 17 while serving as a missionary in Guam. He can be a shining example really for youth of today struggling in their life. Uh, hopefully people can find some kind of a root to root their lives with that is more meaningful than what the world offers because many, many of them are deluded by all the, the fantasies that the world has to offer and this modern world does. Peter Kalungsa lived his life in a very simple way, but in a faith-filled way. And that's the example that we want to pass on. The German-born Mother Marianne Cope grew up and studied in New York State. She spent the second half of her life in Hawaii, where she took up the work of St. Damien of Molokai, caring for leprosy patients. I'm really proud of it because uh, two of them from the same county, the smallest county in Hawaii, those two put the, you know, Hawaii in, on a map. Another Hawaiian pilgrim summed up what he said was St. Marianne's message. Never underestimate someone else's sickness. Uh, don't be afraid to challenge the uh, gun challenge. Unknown, and she gave her life up to be there. St. Kateri Tekakwitha is the first American Indian saint. Archbishop Charles Chaput of Philadelphia, who is of American Indian descent, said that St. Kateri can be a patron of the struggle for religious freedom. Uh, I think many young people today are embarrassed about embracing the Catholic faith because they live in a culture a secular culture that's hostile towards religious expression. And uh, Blessed Kateri grew up in a place where um, there was great hostility towards Christianity. So she was under great family pressure and tribal pressure not to become a Christian. And once she became a Christian, to reject that. So in, in some ways, she would be a model of uh, fidelity in the face of uh, persecution for religious freedom on religious freedom grounds. Uh, also, you know, she, she would be a patron of the new evangelization. Again, a young, vibrant uh, member of her community um, is different than the rest of them because of her unique re personal relationship with Jesus Christ, which is what sanctity generally is about. It's about taking Christ seriously in a personal way in ways beyond where most of us go.